Tesla has been teasing the world with its revolutionary semi-truck for years and now the wait is finally over. After years of rigorous testing, Tesla has officially delivered its first production semi, marking a major milestone in the company's push for the future of sustainable transportation. With its impressive range, advanced safety features, and sleek design, the Tesla Semi is ready to take the roads by storm. Wait a minute. Put your seatbelt on, please. Put on your seatbelts because we're gonna take you on a tour of what makes this electric truck so exceptional and how it is reshaping the transportation industry. This is Technology Now. The Tesla Semi has been the talk of the town lately and the recent semi delivery event has only added fuel to the fire. Tesla has truly outdone itself this time creating an electric heavy truck that is the most capable on the market. But what are these key details that have been revealed at the event? Let's take a look and explore what makes the Tesla Semi so revolutionary. Tesla handed its first official production vehicle to Pepsi last December 1, 2022 at a semi-delivery event in its Nevada Gigafactory. Five years after CEO Elon Musk revealed his semi, the company's electric tractor trailer. Inside the facility, a large crowd saw Musk drive one of the three Tesla semis. One was painted white, another had a Pepsi logo, and a third had Frito-Lay colors. Also, the focus of the recent event was on the engine and transmission. In a revised spec sheet released earlier this year, Tesla reduced the number of electric motors from 4 to 3 despite the fact that the original design promised to utilize all four. We thought that was done to increase productivity. Likely, they concluded that the fourth motor was unnecessary and scrapped it. Elon said the truck had the same drivetrain as his Pad Model X and S, so that means three of Tesla's highly efficient induction motors carbon fiber overwrapped rotor motors are optimized for greater force. To increase the amount of energy delivered into the rotor, a carbon sleeve stops the rotor from expanding at very high RPM. Therefore, the semi's back axle will have two electric motors and the center axle will have one. However, Elon did reveal that there is an intriguing change to the engine that makes the semi-truck rear-wheel drive only. Dual motors on the back axle are only activated during rapid acceleration. As a result, only one motor axle is active while the truck is traveling along the highway. According to Elon, the power output of a single pad motor exceeds that of a standard diesel truck engine. Moreover, the twin motors feature a clutch mechanism that allows them to be totally disengaged from the wheels while the truck is in cruise mode, which is an intriguing innovation. So what happens is that there is no energy loss and no additional weight or resistance on the wheels from the motors. That clutch mechanism is fully automatic too. It will happen so seamlessly that the driver won't even notice. When not in use, the system will have the back motors disengage and when acceleration is required, it will rev them up and engage the clutches to provide power to the wheels. Totally undisturbed continuity of any kind. This is probably one of the primary reasons why Tesla Semi has such a long range. Elon has said on many occasions that the truck can go the whole 500 miles on a single charge without any changes, even though the maximum weight for an electric Class A truck is just 80,000 pounds. The company's main focus is on increasing productivity in the semi. Also, Tesla emphasized that the semi's inverters, heat pumps, and drive units are identical to those found in Tesla's passenger cars, which have been tried and tested through millions of kilometers of actual travel. Once again, the semi can go 500 miles on a single charge when fully loaded. Elon demonstrated this by describing the 500-mile trip that had been completed on a single battery, which he had discussed at the presentation. The route used was from Fremont, California to San Diego. The distance between the two cities is approximately 476 miles and a quick check on Google Maps verifies this. And to prove that the 9-hour journey was completed in real-world traffic without the use of blocked roads or other artificial advantages, Tesla published a time-lapse video of the whole journey. At the ceremony, it was officially announced that the semi is powered by a brand new 1000 volts engine design. Higher voltage results in lesser resistance which in turn allows for quicker charging rate. Because of this, the new 1MW charging infrastructure from Tesla will be put to good use. 
Now, here's where things get interesting. We were under the idea that the Mega Charger was a dedicated facility for the truck. Yet, it seems from the event that this is merely the V4 Tesla Supercharger. It isn't a custom-built semi-charger. Essentially, it's a Tesla charging station from the future. Elon did say that the Cybertruck would be able to utilize the megawatt charging output, suggesting that the Cybertruck will also have a 1000 volt engine. The V4 charger stands out due to its liquid-cooled cable, which permits a greater transmission of energy without sacrificing the charger's tiny and discrete form factor. To summarize, Semi outperforms every other Class 8 truck there is. Apparently, Tesla has been testing the durability of these trucks by sending them from Sparks, Nevada to the company's factory in Fremont, California, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, fully loaded. They highlighted how the electric engine not only makes the semi more capable of climbing steep inclines than any other transport vehicle, but also of descending the same inclines with more safety and efficiency. Downhill driving is a significant challenge when attempting to slow a truck and trailer weighing 80,000 pounds. When doing so in a traditional semi, the driver will need to do a sequence of gear changes to use engine braking in unison with the friction brakes to effectively stop the vehicle. There is not a lot of room for error. The truck's friction brakes might overheat quickly under the strain of a high load and steep slope if the engine brake isn't done correctly. This might cause a brake failure resulting in a runaway transport truck, which is why you may see some highways have designated runaway truck lanes while passing over mountainous terrain. But because the Tesla Semi's electric motors have regenerative braking, this danger is minimized. Motors provide rolling resistance to slow the load's descent, recapturing energy from the load's movement and returning it to the battery pack, leaving the friction brakes with little to do. Even with cold brakes, Elon claims that a Tesla Semi will make it to the bottom of a steep slope and the extra safety of traction control can't be ignored. Traction in the truck is maintained by the same technology that enables a Model S plan to go from 0 to 60 in under 2 seconds. This should make it such that the system will never experience a jackknife. It should be able to keep the truck from becoming trapped on a snowy incline as well. So that's the takeaway from Tesla Semi delivery event. Overall, the Tesla Semi is an impressive vehicle with a unique design and advanced technology which could revolutionize the transportation industry. It has the potential to reduce emissions and provide increased efficiency, making it an exciting development in the world of transportation. It's no surprise that this cutting-edge innovation might radically change the transportation sector for decades to come. What do you think of this impressive piece of technology? Do you believe that it will drastically reduce operating costs and improve the safety of drivers? Drop your ideas in the comments section below. I hope you found this video entertaining. Again, make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks for watching. All the latest technological developments right now. This is Technology Now. I'll see you in the next video.